Welcome Hive Dwellers to another Necromunda video. So today I am unboxing the Ruined Zone Mortalis kit. So um, this is the new wave of, of boxes, or one of the new wave of boxes for High Secundus. Uh, I didn't personally pick up the High Secundus box, uh, although a great purchase, very reasonable price for a couple of different gangs, a couple of different reasons, obviously. Um, you've got the Van Sar for a start, you've got your Corrupted Gene Stealer, uh, and of course you've got your Hive Brats. Um, but, it didn't really grab me purely because it's cardboard mat, it's a cardboard book, and the terrain is, meh, I've got that terrain already, it's fine, it is whatever. Uh, I like the fact that you can play it as a standalone, a bit like a Warhammer Quest, uh, or like a space hulk kind of thing, but really, what grabbed me about the latest uh, releases is the ruined terrain. So recently, I've been destroying my own zone mortalis columns and walls, and then they bring out this puppy, which is classic hobby 101. When you are making something, converting something, trying to be a special snowflake, and then they bring out something new. That's basically what you just made, but. This looks better. It definitely looks better. I think so anyway. I mean, I'm pretty happy with the stuff I've painted and converted recently, but this looks wicked. So what I've done previously in a few videos is I've sem uh, assembled the door and melted it so it looks like a melter shot has gone off or made an incredibly rusted door so very, very flaky rust, completely seized, doesn't work. I don't know how to treat that door in particular, for example, in game, can you move a model through it? I would say you can. Uh, or worst case scenario, you can only shoot through it, you can't move through it. Uh, very much the same as my melted doors. And my busted columns and walls look actually quite similar to this. Um, but what is a bit different is the girder bridge, which I'm looking forward to. I haven't blasted or blown up any of my wall or walkway sorry, my walkway pieces. Um, that looks really cool. So that's a great idea. And this is definitely new. I have loads of cabling and piping and things like that left over from so many kits, like the Sector Mechanicus walkways. So that was a great idea. I really do think that is cool. So it's blocking a model from moving through it, but you can still shoot through it. So I'll open this box up and I'll show you what's inside. Of course you can see it here, why not see it in the flesh? So I live in the southwest of England, near Bodmin, and I'm very, very lucky to have an extremely nice guy running a local hobby shop. So shout out to Alex, who runs Sanctum Games. Really, really, really nice guy, and he set me up with this kit. So Alex doesn't pay me or anything, I just think he's just a really nice guy. So if you're anywhere near the Bodmin area on a holiday, or you live down here, Please check out Sanctum Games. Um, just a really nice guy to chat to about the hobby. I probably stay in that store too long and gas all day long about hobby stuff. But he's just a font of knowledge. He's been in the hobby for ages. And like I said, just a bloody nice chap. So he does very good deals as well on terrain, which really doesn't help your wallet, but it does help your hobby in the long term. So it's nice to see that the gantries aren't all one piece, it's nice rickety sections, so that'd be great for hobby conversions. You can imagine that over a doorway uh, of a dock shop or something like that in my underhive. And it's not just blown apart walkways, which I could do myself. The detail is fantastic. So once again, a games workshop kit that I go, eh, do I really need it? And then once you get it in your hands, your hot little hands, you can see how much detail is really in these things. So before, obviously these solid pieces before they're blown open were smooth. And when I painted them, I was wondering when they chip, when they get damaged, do they get rusty? Now I realize it's more like rock crete. You can see the reed bars in there and that answers my question. So I'm glad I didn't sponge on some steel. That looks really, really, really cool. Love that detail alone. Uh, cabling and piping, like I said, you could probably make green stuff rollers and things like that, but you still have to admit the detail on that is fantastic. 
So you can see the insulations on the cable when they're torn open, exposing bare wires. So that looks fantastic. And these busted end sections. So I really am glad I picked up this box. I mean, I love the Zone Mortalis terrain anyway, and this stuff locks in place into the tiles, and it's just a really nice addition. But now, it really adds detail. So it's not just useful in-game, so you still got your little corner walkways and things like that. You can stick on your platforms, your tiles, um, your columns and walls, but it really adds a level of detail. I mean, detail may be not necessarily needed in the game, but it just makes it look way more realistic, a lot more fun. Once again, stuff like this, yes, it's an upright cabling uh, in a wall section, but you could even use that as um, some kind of walkway, some kind of gantry. The detail really is classic GW. Lots of little rivets and things like that, and you can even see the pitted sections for the corrosion. So that is just one sprue. That looks boss already. Very, very happy with that. Uh, second sprue, so the wall sections, once again you can see the rock creek blasted open. When I first saw these uh, revealed on the Warhammer community, I did think maybe it's just columns and walls that were resin from Forge World and someone just left them in the sun. And I have to admit the paintwork wasn't for me. I'm not saying it was rubbish paintwork because those boys and girls really can do an amazing job, they can paint way better than I ever can. Uh, but I don't know what, if, if it was just the color or the lighting or what, but it didn't show off, in my opinion, um, this level of detail. This is crackers, I love it. Um, I, like I said, my busted doors that I spent ages trying to cut across here. Um, yeah, still kept the detail that was on there, but the fact that these plates are now torn open and you can see gears and the mech inside. Fantastic stuff. Really is fantastic stuff. Like you can see, once again, Rock Creek broken, reed bars inside. Yeah, I'm glad I painted it thinking it was less like steel and more like concrete because pipes, things like that, definitely steel. The remaining stuff, Rock Creek, concrete, something like that. Yeah, the gears and the workings inside the doors Fantastic. I, I did worry that each piece was like maybe coming two halves, you just clip them together, and it didn't look that good. I mean, going back to the, the box a minute, I had the box, it's right in front of me, where did it go? Here it is. Like I said, it, it looks okay in the pictures, but I don't know why, it just doesn't seem to pop like it does when you see it on sprue. I uh, know it's supposed to be dingy, it's the underhive, but really, really impressed with this. I'm going to have to pick up a couple more boxes now and ruin more of my terrain. I was half tempted to drill some holes in my Zone Mortanus tiles, the main tiles that you, you clip everything onto, and I think I'm going to go with that. I think I'm going to drill some holes. So going back to the, like the um, N17 box with the cardboard terrain, uh, those cardboard tiles did have big pit holes, pitfalls, and I was going to emulate that with my my plastic boards, but I couldn't bring myself to destroy it. Now I'm definitely going to put a few holes in there and put some reed bars and gantries, poke them through. So yeah, definitely inspired to trash my underhive a little bit more. I mean, just look at that. Cabling poking through behind the wall. I'll put up a link uh, in the description below. Uh, for how I destroyed my terrain, um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna turn it up to eleven. The more columns and walls I've got coming through now on my, uh, my paint station, I'm probably gonna destroy twenty five percent of them now to match. So that's three sprues. I've got five sprues in total. So this is just to repeat a couple of half pieces. Definitely crumpled there. Definitely folded in half. Almost like an ambot is just absolutely gone to town and crushed that in half. So the last three are repeats, but yeah, look at the detail there. Fantastic. So, so glad. That is just not like melted Forge World columns and walls. Very impressed. Whoever designed this kit, long may it last. You've made me eat my words. I've gone from 
Uh, it's not really something I'm going to go for to going into a hobby shop and going, I can do you a good deal. And having a good chat with uh, my local um, plastic crap dealer. And uh, taking it home and going, do you know what? I'm wrong. I'm wrong. This is a fantastic kit. I'm definitely going to buy a few more. So Alex, um, if you're watching this, best order a few more, buddy, all right? <laughs> Thank you very much for watching this video, guys. I'm shortly going to do a paint tutorial, how I paint these up, and I'm going to paint them um, in a busted uh, version of how I've painted up my other tiles. So going back to the classic um, 97 blue that I like for like the had cardboard terrain, uh, but rather than using grey in the centres um, like they did back in 97, I do like a, an off-white, like a bone colour, and then drop loads and loads of streaking grime on it, and then rub it all back again because I just like to bring it up. I thought grey would be a bit too plain, a bit too boring, but I like the fact that it was quite a stark grey with the contrast of rust on it back in the day. So I've used that stark colour, which is more like a dead off-white colour, uh, like a dead flesh colour, and um, I've gone from there. But no, very, very happy with this kit. Very happy with this kit. Definitely going to buy more. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you stay safe, you wonderful, wonderful people. And please let me know if you're up to any hobby at the moment. Always love inspiration, and I definitely love war stories. So you're going to tell me about a game of Necromunda you played, and some juve took down an ambot or something. I'm all ears. Love that stuff. Cheers, guys. Catch you in the next video.